So Nick, why would you want an iPod Nano in 2021? Makes no sense at all, right? You have a beautiful iPhone that plays all of the music that you could want, does videos, does podcasts, does everything, right? Well, true. Very fair fact, if you want a single device to do everything, and you want to listen to stuff on Apple Music or Spotify or Pandora, iPhone is your way to go, and you're not going to be complaining about it. So if you don't like anything that I say in this video, just remember, you can always use your iPhone, and I fully support that, and I don't hate you. What I appreciate about the iPod Nano is the ability to disconnect conveniently. The iPod Nano serves a similar purpose to the Apple Watch, is in a an ability to play music without the interruption of anything. Now, when I say anything, I mean phone calls, text messages, uh, social media posts, all of this is completely removed when you use an iPod Nano to enjoy music. Now, uh, the iPod Nano 7th generation is the only iPod that is actually compatible with, yes, AirPods. So you can use any generation AirPods with uh, the 7th generation iPod Nano and listen to your music wirelessly. And that's a pretty important feature because uh, I do also have a fifth generation iPod Nano. This thing is not very usable. I would not recommend using this for a music consumption device uh, in 2021 just because you have to use a wire or listen to it through the world's worst speaker, which is, uh, which is a thing here. Um, so definitely it is nice to have uh, an iPod Nano that supports AirPods, and it kind of has extended the life and usability of the iPod Nano 7th Gen because you can use AirPods regular, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, any kind of uh, Bluetooth device. While its pairing isn't quite as seamless as uh, your regular iPhone pairings, but you just have to go into settings and uh, click connect for the AirPods once, and then as long as you don't reconnect the AirPods to a different device, they're always gonna remain connected to the iPod Nano. I appreciate this because I actually have a spare pair of AirPods. When I upgraded the AirPods Pro, I had my second gen AirPods that I don't actually use on a regular basis. So basically, this is now my portable combo whenever I wanna go outside or on a walk or on a run or a jog or something, and I don't wanna be distracted by any kind of notifications. I can just put these two together, pop in an AirPod, and uh, enjoy beautiful music courtesy of an offline device. Now, a big caveat here is the iPod Nano, all of the iPods do not support Apple Music. So if you are an Apple Music subscriber and you have all of your music library on Apple Music, I'm sorry, this also is not for you. Enjoy your iPhone. This is a very specific use case for me because just about a year ago, I got off of Apple Music and I went to YouTube Music, which uh, if you don't know, if you have a YouTube Premium account, which a lot of people do, you also get Apple, uh, YouTube Music for free, which serves the same purpose fundamentally for me as Apple Music did. It was pretty easy to move my library over to YouTube Music. Um, but I realized that I really only listen to a handful of songs. I'm not the kind of guy who streams a bunch of different songs from a bunch of different artists. I have a very particular set of songs that I want to listen to pretty regularly. Now, I like having access to YouTube music, being able to pull up any song that I want at any time, either on my iPhone or my Mac. But when I'm just going to sit down and enjoy music, I want to enjoy music that I already know I'm going to love and that is just my soul music. And so I really like the fact that I already own a lot of these songs on iTunes and I can just pop them on to the iPod Nano via, I guess, Finder. iTunes isn't a thing anymore. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. Uh, this little thing is so thin. Um, it's actually incredibly thin. I know Steve used that word uh, way too often, but every time I look at this little iPod, it, it, it feels like something that was designed in 2021. Uh, it has a nice chamfered edge, super thin, flat corners on one side, nice rounded corners on the other, kind of a unique, uh, a unique build quality that uh, we haven't seen since the days of the uh, old iPod. So it, it's very... Uh, it feels very modern, even in 2021. Uh, super thin, super sleek, has a power button, volume rocker with a play pause button in between, headphone jack, I don't really use that at all. Um, if you did want to listen to AM or FM radio, you can actually plug in a set of headphones and the iPod will use the headphone wire as a long antenna and you can actually listen to live regular radio just like you would in a car uh, right off an iPod. And it also has a lightning port, which is kind of nice because uh, 
you know, I, I would prefer if it had MagSafe, I guess, but <laughs> this is 2012 we're talking about. So impressive that this is an iPod that sports Bluetooth, AirPods, Lightning, and it's just super thin and super portable and works great with my existing iTunes library, which I already have a lot of songs that I do enjoy. Um, and it's just a nice little device to toss in my pocket and uh, go on a walk or uh, go somewhere where it's distraction free. So that's really why I love the seventh generation iPod Nano so much. And uh, if you are looking for something to enjoy music and content, distraction free and fiddle free, honestly, that's that's the other thing. Like it, it's it's not a lot of, of work to put this together after you pair your second second pair of AirPods to this. And if you don't unpair them, it's really easy. You just pick it up and, and they're already paired and you're good to go. I know people will say Apple Watch also serves that purpose. You can also load songs onto your Apple Watch that actually supports Apple Music. Download those offline and go somewhere without your phone. I have actually never once been able to get my AirPods to pair to my Apple Watch. Never or once. There's always some, it's connecting, 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 or it fails. And I just never had a good experience getting AirPods connected to Apple Watch. And I really appreciate that it's super easy to pair them just over Bluetooth to the old iPod. Anyway, this video is much too long for how uh, simple of a uh, topic this is. Thanks for watching. This is why the iPod Nano 7th generation is the best thing to listen to offline music in 2021. I've been Nick. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. God bless.